Today's Tales is us playing Battletech once again, and today we are up against Sultan Yukub. Except for he's actually called Nurgle's Hero, and we are playing in the loser's bracket of the Valhalla tournament. And I've changed up my uh, my lance a little here. I don't know if it was the right choice. I know he normally likes to bring a catapult, so we'll see how we do with this. But we have two fire starters, a hunchback 4P, and a trebuchet. Hopefully he hasn't brought anything too heavy. Maybe he's brought a bunch of uh, hunchbacks. That would be great for us. But uh, so far it's a little unknown. We're going to go straight up here probably. I just want to see what kind of range we've got. Alright, we're probably just going to throw my two fire starters towards the front. Outside of the trees, please. Uh, you will probably be okay there. And you're just going to have to run on up. So we're going to have to keep Treb towards the back somewhere, maybe over here for a bit, while we work out what he has. We do have two tense lockers this time around. I kind of like the two. Uh, kind of like the two tense lockers. Hmm. Just to get an idea of what the opponent's got. Hopefully this doesn't get censored. There we go. I don't know why this game makes uh, everything run so crazy, but uh, it does. I can hear it when uh, when I started up. The, the tower goes... Ooh. It loves it. It absolutely loves it. Whoa, this is... Alright, he picked a weird mood. I was like, why is it so dark and dingy? <laughs> the hottest game of 2018. <laughs> oh, lol. It definitely is. It definitely is. Alright, we will... Uh... Alright, so what do I think? I think by the... I kind of want to go this way, actually. I think we have to wait one more turn, though, before we go too crazy here. So what we might do is we might just push you over this way, brace you there, uh, we'll push you, how far can you make it, push you over here somewhere, we'll brace you, uh, you need to come over here somewhat, and you sir, I don't play enough from this side to get a good perspective of where you need to be. It's a shame. I'll probably take you into the middle here. The hunchback's going to need to cover a lot of ground. I suspect he's going to have some sort of long range fit. Uh, he should know better than to bring multiple LRMs. He does like his catapult. He maybe likes a treb. I don't know about trebs. Could also be the uh, the one where you bring an assault. I swear I played with him and he brought a uh, what was it? The one with three PPCs. An awesome. So you can bring an awesome and a bunch of trash cans. All right, well he's coming in fast and hot. That's unfortunate because we have sprinted in. Uh, I don't have an arc light, so he gets to decide how this plays out. We'll probably move. We'll probably reserve. Move the hunchback and go from there. Damn, that is something fast. What is that? All right, we're gonna have to reserve here. Uh, we might reserve down to f I don't really want to reserve down to phase one. So we're going to have to swing this guy around. Mm. It's not exactly pretty, is it? I don't know what this is. Alright, well he has no vision here. 
Whatever he does, he's going to sense lock us and we're going to have no evasion anyway. I probably want to shift something like... Ooh. I don't know what it is, right? So maybe we'll stick away from it for a sec. Hmm. I think we just have to eat front shots here. He does come in, he comes in, so be it. <sighs> Alright, we've picked up a second one coming over the hill. He's probably going to reserve down. We'll reserve down, that's fine. Now, at least if I've gone, it means that I can happily reserve here. It just means... Uh, he can't take a one turn kill everything move. Uh, yeah. I mean, especially sitting out here, right? I could have taken a lot of damage if he has a lot of LRMs. I don't particularly want to do that. I'm just hoping he reserves down to phase one, though. So I have brought Apex over on the Treb to maybe get through guard if that shenanigans going on. It doesn't do a lot, but it does, you know, it does a bit more. Just means you can get full damage of one LRM. Which is pretty good. 60 damage, right? If you ever hit with everything. It does sandpaper quite a lot though, so you do have that. Alright, let's bring in one in. Let's bring it in quite deep. So we'll probably sense lock that with Mockingbird just to see what it is. Where are you, Mockingbird? Alright, we got a 4P. I'm hoping he's brought maybe a traditional lance here, which would be something like a 4P, a Treb, um, a Kentaro. So that would be really nice for us. We can deal well with a 4P with the two fire starters. Kentaro won't do well against us either. I'll probably double sense lock. Ooh, I could double sense lock over here too, actually. Hmm. I think unfortunately for him it's not going to be a mirror match. <laughs> Alright, we're going to check out what we got here. The locust. Alright. Is this a sumo locust? It is. <laughs> The, the redactor, the thing is so bad. <laughs> it just picks up on all sorts of things. This is really bad here. But hopefully he doesn't pick up on that. This lance normally only has one sensor locker. I should have maybe jumped forward and picked up on what this was. I've actually forgotten what the uh, reverse of it is. Uh, you only have one sense locker. Is it in? It's Mockingbird in the 4P normally. I mean in a 4G. That jumped in. So what's that? This could be a big mistake if he's got another sensor locker. Uh, that is a... Enforcer? I 
What's our hit chances? 75. So I'm kind of happy to fire both LRMs into this. It's kind of annoying that it's into that side. If I could get front, I would love it. But I have to move forward really far here. Uh, I get to go first, I suppose. So we do get to move away from this. Back over here. He's still got whatever this is as well to go. So we probably want to be a little cautious about this. From here, what does this give us? Might go for the front here. It is a little bit less, but I'd rather hit the front than uh, the side. Just spreads it out a bit. I should have maybe double sense locked. That uh, 60 damage though, that really hurt. Really, really hurt. I might have to push into this. I can't afford to just get chewed up by an Apex on a Enforcer. Alright, he's bringing his sumo in. So he's going to go for... He's going to go for the punch, I'd say, so he can do max damage here. He needs for me to do something with this. He'd probably save it till last. I would definitely save this till last. I still don't know what he's got as well. Uh, this has got to probably be a Kintar, I would say. I mean, this is an Enforcer, right? Um, Enforcer's 5 mil, this is 6 mil, this is 2 mil. So, what do we got here? Uh, 11, 13, so KTO would fit the bill. Bring you up to about 9. Yeah, this isn't... This isn't good. Uh, he, sh he should have reserved into me. This is crazy. Uh, cause now I get to... Oh no, it's a sumo, that's right. Um, okay. It's still a little crazy though. I think we just reserve here, right? And we just wait for him to do whatever he can to this. Uh, this is actually, I think. Yeah, it was William von Bin Bilhelm's lance was this one. Give it a whirl. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to destroy this as fast as we can. Oh god, I forgot about sumo. So that did make sense. It's going to hurt a lot this round, but so be it. If I can get behind this and give up only side shots, I'll be fairly happy. Because we could probably just kill this from behind. I only want to give up side shots though, because uh, anything else will be a bit too much. So it's going to be a... Uh, he's probably chilling on his heat, because he doesn't want to overheat into us. It's probably got to be a 
Is that double four Ps? Yeah, we just have to push, I think. Push for these two, get behind them. We'll bring the Treb in, I think. There's no point in him sitting back. so much already the left torso that's really not good for us really not good actually we could give up back shots here because we will get to get these two out of the way right before anything too shifty happens could even come in like this I think so you can get there showboat get here which is cool all right so in you go what do we got yeah so he's chilling on his heat um, as best he can all right how do we do Mm, okay, yeah. We should hopefully get this thing at least exploding fairly well. Nice. And it goes. Alright, next on the, the list of things to do, we could fire into this. Uh, we got Apex and you, sir. Hmm, how are you doing? You're not too happy about this situation, are you? What do you got? 45s? Hmm. Alright, so we're going to have to move up, I think. I think we'll move up. Could even move like this. We definitely just want to get vicious here, I think. Against this kind of lance, we have to. We'll go somewhere else, not really. Uh, which one's which? Alright, I guess we do fire these then. No, we don't, because they will not reach. Alright, go for it. This is still really bad for us. I might have to rotate here because this is going to be another 60 damage, right? Fifty fives, kind of keen for that. maybe leave these two here he would have to move to get them it's a big risk though a real big risk I should have rotated this actually 60 hmm. I think we'll risk it we'll risk it we'll see if he moves out of here I doubt it but you never know. They should be a really hard shot. 
It's a lot of tank gun on here too. I mean, I've done a lot of damage, but he's done a mass load to me, right? This is, this is a really nice lance. I do like this lance. I'm going to have to get pretty good with these two, though. So we've used one, two, so we've got, what, six shots left on the flamethrowers, three on each. What I really need is a round of just flamethrowing something. Ah, I think he's going for it. Alright, cool, so this will be the guy we jump behind. He's going for it, though. Tony side shots. Okay. Now do I wait? Is this side shots or back shots? So I could jump this guy out now, right? For evasion. It's not great though. He can punch me from there. Kind of do want to go for this though. But I'll just get punched. And that's the main problem here. need one more, one more to not be able to fire. So I think I'm going to move uh, the treb and fire on this. It's real risky though. But I think I'm happy to risk it. Because then we can go for this. Too. I need him to move and fire with this. It's my actual hope that he moves and fires with this. Because then we'll jump the two fire starters behind this and go crazy on it for two turns. I do need this guy to survive though. Ooh, please. Mm, it's gonna be back shots again. Hopefully that's just enough angle to survive here. We'll see in a sec. Well, hopefully the invasion kicks in, keeps us alive. This could probably get behind us anyway. Okay, interesting. I think that this could get behind us. 60 damage. Alright, we'll risk that too, I think. We're going to put a bit more into this guy. Just see if I can hit that. Maybe. He isn't rotating his mechs as well as he should. That's fine. 
This is the real target here for the two fire starters. Double turn and burn. Should do a lot of damage to this. This guy is kind of half crippled. Then we only have to deal with uh, their lovely old enforcer. This guy is going to keep marching forward, I think. Somewhat. Maybe this will be gone. Or at least really damaged. I just need the laser pack off it, really. He will get around to punching us. He's in the position to punch. Alright, he's just... He's blocking this up. Make it real hard for us. I could just be cheeky and go for the side of this. I wonder if he's going to fire. He's probably going to fire. 60 damage to do a lot. Ooh. Damn, where'd that hit? Alright, well there's one fire flame star gone, but that's okay. How hot are you? Not hot enough, right? So you go there, and you go here, and then we'll jump them both out, I guess. And then set up for this again. Oh, yeah, alright, that's as good as it gets. I think we just double burn this guy. Maybe I should have done Showboat first. This might actually block. Alright, not too bad. Kind of tempted to shut this down, actually. Like, real tempted. The real question is, is can he do enough damage to stop me, right? Most likely going to have to be Mockingbird, I think. I think we're going to risk it. At least with Mockingbird. Right. Oh, he lost all the lasers out of it. So now we just need to focus on this one then. this I guess. Well, I can only get it twice but hopefully yeah I stuck myself in a position where he can only punch Battle me in the front. Power up detected. Okay, 
Don't want to do that. That's pretty good. We want to keep moving to the side of this. Maybe see if we can get that thing off it. If we're lucky. We really did not have much. <clears throat> Probably just tries to walk. Yeah, he tries to walk behind this and shoot it in the back, I guess. I need to get this, really. Hopefully, this survives in some form of shape. So he's only got 39 on the CT there as well. Has he got here? 37. This is a reasonable kill if we could get behind it again. If we had fire starters. That was real unfortunate. That's the side he lost. Let's see how this goes. We might have to just move this guy and fire with the trees. Or a move in a brace, get that heat back. gonna try and shoot both I guess. Ooh. Okay, it's only a little um that's fine. Okay, so I gotta be careful of this guy. Uh because he's now just wanting to punch. Actually, we probably just need our heat back, right? Yeah, this is not worth. <clears throat> so he's probably going to turn and punch this. Or try to shoot me in the back. Move here, try to shoot. Hopefully we survive somehow. If we survive somehow, we'll probably just go all in on this laser pack here. <clears throat> survive buddy oh my god we survived somehow two flamethrowers excellent that's all that's required uh, hmm <coughs> is this where I DFA DFA would rip our leg Definitely don't want to. I could punch this guy in the back. 45. Could DFA this guy in the back, actually. What's that give us? Forty-five, ninety-five is probably pretty decent, right? 
We rip the last of this or we kill him. Plus 5 damage, plus 15. It's a little bit scary, but we're going to go for it, I think. Nice. <clears throat> I mean, poor old Mockingbird is dead here anyway. So maybe we get that laser pack here. Uh, so we can reserve now. And we can maybe get this laser pack next. We'll look to set up probably the showboat to go in on this twice. We're in a good position. Four mechs versus two. I mean, we're going to lose this fire starter. I need this gone in a sec uh, if we stand any chance. Because we can. Uh, if this goes, or if he has to melee with it this if, as soon as he loses this the vision for this goes he can't be ACing us to death is he trying to shoot both he's trying to shoot both uh, shot to the side Ooh, actually won't kill us uh, so he has to fire both weapons here Yeah, he needs to fire both. 60 off the uh, AC. Uh, he shouldn't be in small laser range. Wouldn't consider this. I don't know what else. Oh, he moved that? Okay. I actually thought he moved this. Uh, that's fine. I think we... Move here. Oh, that sucks, doesn't it? Uh, is he rotating on me a bit? He is. Well, we got most of our heat back, right? I don't really want to. I need that laser pack. fire with you. <clears throat> it's not particularly what I want though. I want this more than anything. I guess we've got to start burning armor. Although, what are you looking like? Hmm. 45s. I think we take this. We'll start burning guns with this armor. This is probably not going to be a back shot kill on this one. It's a shame Apex is a little hot for this. We might have to overheat with Apex actually. I'm trying to shut down, but I think we'll just jam everything we can here. If I can punch this, I definitely will. <clears throat> I think we might be a little out of range. We could D try for the DFA. It's kind of warm on this if he wants to fire everything. I don't think we could get a shutdown here anyway. Man, it's a bit of a mess in here. We were lucky with that CT. I do like getting aggressive with the Treb. It is a funny old thing. Uh, we need to protect a side here though. It's actually this side here that we need to protect. We need the medium lasers to survive over the 
LRM, we don't care about the LRM. Although the LRM does have a medium laser on it as well. I wonder if he's looking to shoot into this. 60 damage. Ooh. What if he hit an arm or a leg? Come on. Give me an arm or a leg here. Ah, that's fine. I'll take that. So he's going to shoot into this with the laser then. Where'd that hurt? Where did that hurt? The arm. Okay, I'll take that. That I'll take. Alright, so I would love to know. Let's have a look. So we would shut down. Hmm. Well, we can run in and punch for starters, which is good for us. Uh, we'll definitely give him all this. Even punch him from behind, which is hilarious. Alright. Let's come in. Give him the old whirly bird. Yes. That's exactly what we need. Alright, that's weakening up the CT armor as well. Which is working out really well for us. So now we could probably back away from this. Uh, how much ammo have we got? Could look to just fire the lasers. What if. How much heat do we generate with just lasers? So lasers would be. 75. Could go something like this. Full damage. Or close to. With the cold shot to the CT. Do a fair bit of work. And then we've just got to deal with Apex, really. Or we could fire at Apex from here. Hmm. Split fire here, I think. I think we'll move here. Uh, we'll jam the LRMs here and the lasers here, I guess. Uh, something like this. Because we've got to start burning uh, armor off this guy as well. Pretty close to being out of ammo on the LRMs. Man, this thing cooks though. Alright, how are we looking? So we've got 80 on the CT here. Uh, probably just going to back away from this again. There's no real need to get demolished here. We'll wait for this thing to move somewhere else. I think we'll take a jump towards our dude in the trees. We could have risked that, but we won't do 80 damage, right? So we'll wait for this guy. He's going to come forward with it. He's got to come towards us with the medium laser. Uh, how are we doing here? 100 armor off this already is really good for us. It's still Apex though. He still has the AC-10. So we do have to be careful of that. We need this gone. So that we don't have to fear the big old punches. I need a turn of cooling this down somehow. How hot are we here? Hmm. We need to kind of cool down on this too. Losing the uh, heat sinks has really been a bit annoying for this poor old hunchback. Alright, he's trying to protect his side there. That's left on this side quite a fair bit actually. 
I really don't want to be dealing with that. Hmm. I kind of just want to take a turn to back away from all this for a bit and cool down. I do have the precision strike, so if he puts this in a funny position, we could maybe go hard on it. He possibly already, he has his as well. So I'd say he's looking for a turn to go hard on us too. Just need to cool down just a little here. Need to be able to fire weapons, which would be great. Uh, I'll probably cool down here too, unless he does something weird with this. We've got the armor. Not so much armor here. I really don't... If I was him, I'd keep firing into this. Uh, just to wear it down. I should have actually gone for a sprint this way. Hmm. CT's going to be annoying. Still quite a lot. And on this side. I really don't want to be firing into this anymore. We kind of just want to fire into Apex here. Try and start getting bits off this mech if we can. It's a lot of armor here too. 190. Probably push this guy forward. I can't reserve, he's too close to reserve. Alright, so he's gonna go in for the punch then. So, what I need. So, he has to go one. He's probably gonna punch into that side, right? I know we want to sprint like this. Could move forward and fire a precision strike into him, pushing him back a go, and then uh, trying to save because I really don't want this guy getting hit for 80, right? Uh, let's think about this. So, if I hit him. I get all my mechs in the third phase, right? Bit of a waste of precision strike, but it does save the fire starter, I think. And we'll try some of that. I doubt we'll hit that, but sure. Maybe try for that instead. Alright. Alrighty. I can't let him punch this. It would just be too much. If I was him, I'd maybe reserve. For reserves, we can fire all into the side of this. Get this guy out. I had to do that. This would this is like 80 damage plus the small laser. It's a hundred damage, right? And he could just trash down the fire starter. And without the fire starter, we can't do nearly as well. It looks like he's gonna try for the side shot here. Uh, 60 damage still doesn't kill us at least. Starting to hurt though. 
and probably what the AC over here. Okay. Mm. Uh, so we jump back. Fire the medium laser over here. We want to rotate like this. I just want to fire the medium laser to get some of the evasion down. Or when we fire in everything else here. Sadly, we're a bit low on... Um, we're real low on heat. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you can't make that. So we rotate like this. Now, I fire you. 45s. So we turn off these two, right? What can we hit here? Mm. Nothing's going to pop, really, from 50 damage. This is probably the better chances that we have, so I think we'll move back here and we'll jam the LRMs. This is a lot of damage here and fairly good hit chances. It's more damage than those two. Alright, down goes the leg. So he's only got 38 left here. Should be a nice win for us, I think. Ooh, incapped. Oh, that's even worse for him, actually. Uh, so I guess you just uh, rotate and brace. I should have moved forward, actually. Uh, reserve in. And we'll see what he gets up to here. See what he gets up to. He could leap around a fair bit, which would be fairly annoying. We do have Showboat for sensor locking. We've still got some LRMs, not a huge amount. Uh, we're down to 60. What do we fire? 30, so we've got two more turns of firing. Trip's really nice if you use it aggressively. In certain cases, right? I mean, in this case, it works out because he, he kind of wants to kill the 4P. Look at this though, this is a pile of scrap here. Oof. Just correct. Excellent. Excellent stuff, I say. These guys are dead and buried though. It's interesting they sink that far into the ground. Hmm. I actually thought he was going to come for a bit of a long range fight, but uh. Yeah, I was really lucky that he brought the short range here. The fire starters really hurt the 4Ps. You either have to run kind of cold. Which means you're reducing your damage down per turn. Or, uh... Or, yeah, you just get hammered like this, right? I mean, the back armor of them... It's just not good. It's not good at all. Alright, so you kind of want to just jump over here for me. Seems like this dude. And we'll just start burning armor, I think. Uh, Apex. What do you got for hit chances? 70s. In fact, uh, we can swing back this way and give him the one LRM. It works out nicely. We get a bit of heat back. Ignores the, uh, ignores the brace there. What are we down to? We're down to a bit of... Oh, I would love it if we could blast that arm. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got to keep... Careful here. Careful, careful. Uh, this much heat is kind of nice. We don't want to overheat too much because I want to save for a turn of getting this guy when he's not jumping around like this. 
Next turn we'll probably run heat neutral. We'll heat up a little this turn. Probably next turn we'll run heat neutral. If he braces around. I mean he's down 300 armor already. I've got another turn of firing this and then we'll probably move Apex in for some shenanigans. With the lasers. 75 damage a turn. I mean it gives him something to fire at. Instead of uh, poor Hunchy here, he's probably still got, he's definitely got AC rounds. The gun isn't dry yet. If he lodges around in here, we could lose this, which could make things a lot harder for us. So maybe I should give him the treb. doesn't brace here. Mate, that hurts. Alright, that's cool for us though. Um, can I do much with this? I don't think so, right? I think we just sense a lot from here. I don't want to do this. Might be a lot of heat, but uh, I think this is the road we take. Overheat. I still think this is the road we take. Twenty on. What is this? Is this the AC? I would love to get the AC ten off. I could actually punch him. Really? Wow. Uh, yeah, but we're not. Um, I think we twist a little, but not too much in case he tries to jump behind us. And this is why we saved heat, so that we can go ham this turn. <laughs> the ham I was expecting. It's more of a turkey. More of a turkey than a ham. I think we'll just reserve in. He probably wants to get out of this. I think we'll take the treb forward now. We've got one more round of firing. The LRMs. Is he DFAing us? He is. Wow. That hurt. What is all this? Nasty stuff. Uh, okay, so he's got no evasion. Apex is hot, so Apex will roll in. Uh, punch from the side, hopefully we'll get rid of that arm. And hopefully we'll knock him. Come on. Okay, well we're knocking him anyway. I think we'll roll in and flamethrow this as well. Pilot injury, Apex. Apex only has four. Put some back a turn. We should just trash through this now. Um, I think the melee is worth. It's worth more than the cold shot and the medium, I think. Oh, secret hits there. Wow. Wow, there is so much damage going on there. Um, I think we punch anyway with Ozone as well. Because now everybody's fairly cool. And then next turn we can just cool shot this whole thing. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Finally we stomp through something here. So now it's all cool shots, right? 
Uh, what is it? I would probably rather still punch this. I mean, whatever we hit's probably coming apart. There we go. Give him the, uh, give him the machine gun as well, baby. There we go. Look at that. Jump jet. Alright, if he gets up though, he's gonna DFA us again. It will be the end of him though. I mean, this is, yeah, that's gone. We'll try for that leg, maybe. Uh, let's just go for the CT, actually. Be amazed to be with this. And there you have it. Mission there successful. you have it. The double flamethrower strat. Excellent work. Excellent, excellent work. I was really lucky in the lance he brought, right? The fact that he brought two hunchbacks and he couldn't use them all that well. This thing got absolutely trashed. I got really lucky with the back shots on uh, Showboat. They only hit here and ripped an arm, which was amazing. Um, and basically Showboat carried us the rest of the game, right? Mockingbird did a fair bit too. She uh, shut down the hunchback, blew off its uh, laser pack. Man, so much work. But good game. Good game indeed. And with that, we'll take a break. Tune in next time for more adventures of Battletech. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.